Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, September 25th, 2018. Disclaimer quickly, trading stocks has a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. Hope you're having a good week so far. Looks like we're going to get a positive open. I'm filming this at about quarter to eight on Tuesday morning. So with that, let's get straight into today's video. If you know me, you know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index. Mm -hmm. I use the Russell as my simple proxy for the markets overall. Um, I deem the Russell to be perhaps the most rate sensitive of the indexes, so it's the one that I choose. Um, so we always start off by looking at the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And I like to step back and take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. I like that bigger time frame. So as we've been talking about in our videos lately, we're looking at the monthly chart. You can see that it sort of bottomed out here in 2016 on the five-year chart, picked up momentum, and has been in this uptrend ever since. I like to keep my charts really simple, so I only have this blue line on here, which is the eight-day EMA, and a couple of uh, lines of support and resistance. So this, uh, the pink one here is short-term, medium-term, and long-term. So as you can see, uptrending, here's the candle for the month of August, and here's where we are so far for September. We are in the last week of the month, so it'll be interesting to see how it shapes up. So far, it's a little red, so we want to be careful. But let's zoom it away from the uh, five-year monthly to the one-year weekly, so we can better see how price is behaving here. So here's the weekly chart, weekly candles blue line this is the medium term area of support resistance for me and this is short term you can see that we're sitting right at this pink line right here I'm sort of ignoring this one for now uh, price is kind of hugging my uh, EMA my eight day EMA so it'll be interesting to see what happens in this area here in the next couple of days so that's the weekly look let's go take a look at it on the daily so again, pink line of support. Look where we landed yesterday. We had a long wick defending our area of support. Today we're going to get a green start. So it's all about the follow through throughout the day. We'll see how it goes. But price in the Russell is trading below the blue eight day EMA on the daily chart. Let's take a look at it on the weekly. That's what I use as my guide. Eh closed below on the weekly as well. So I will not put a new chart forward for our watch list, but I will put, uh, review an old chart of the day cafe pick today. So should we get that follow through today and price move back up and over the blue, here is an old chart of the day cafe pick that I think is worth keeping an eye on. And that old chart of the day cafe pick chart that I wanted to review for you is Phillips 66, ticker symbol PSX, trades on the New York Stock Exchange. Before I get into the chart, let me review the scores for you. You know me at Chart of the Day Cafe, I, I am nutty about the fundamental scores underneath my charts. I will never put a chart forward unless it's got brilliant uh, value and growth scores is what I'm specifically looking for. So I can tell you that Phillips 66 still has a really nice high value score, a current forecasted growth rate going forward of 24%, a PE of 13.18, and a dividend yield of 2.82%. So love those metrics. So with that, let's get into the chart. Phillips 66 is a, in the oil and gas space. Specifically, they are a refiner. We're looking at the five-year monthly chart. You can see on the five-year monthly, look at how long it consolidated down here. So these are monthly candles. So it consolidated through much of 14, 15, 16, and then in 17, it started to lift into new territory, bringing it all the way into the area that we're in right here, right now. So this is where it gets interesting for me. I'm going to move it away. So I just want you to see overall on the five-year uptrend, and sitting at an area where it may find some support. Emphasis on May, 
It's all about what the market wants to do. So we're looking at the five-year monthly. Let me switch it over to the one-year weekly. Philip 66 was our chart of the day cafe pick here in early July. Uh, and when it hit this area of support and it had a beautiful, beautiful move from there, I re-featured it as a review here and it had a little bit of lift from there, but I think it looks particularly interesting right here right now. So again, blue line, the eight day EMA. I love it when price is picked up like this. Moves into new price territory, sitting at my area of support. I like the way it defended this area last week. Let me zoom it into the daily. So here's where we featured it. Um, it's all about price being up and over the blue. So we featured it here. It settled and consolidated, but when it took off, it really took off. I reviewed it again here and said, keep an eye on Phillips 66. It had a little bump up from there, but I think it looks really interesting here. You can see the volume coming in as well. So great scores, uh, nice chart at support. Um, I know they've got a stock buyback program in place as well, so liking Philip 66 here. So I'm going to really zoom it in to the three month because I want you to see, I know everyone has their own way of doing things, what I like to see is the three EMA crossing the eight. So that would be my trigger in the pink, which is the three EMA crosses up and over the blue, and both of the lines are moving higher. That's what I like to see. So we're starting to get the emergence of that here. Hasn't quite crossed yet, but I will be monitoring this one today for that uh, 3 and 8 EMA cross. So again, I'll put my little green circle in this area and say, Philip 66, volume, scores, good chart, great sector, one to keep an eye on here. Along with my chart, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in. And for that, we're looking at XLE, which is the ETF for the energy sector, five-year monthly chart. Uh, kind of like uh, IWM, you can see that it kind of bottomed here in early 2016, had lift, came in, made a higher high, and has been trending in a gentle uptrend since then. Uh, it looks like it's consolidating here. We'll see if it has a breakout, but overall this chart is trending higher in the last, well, since 2016, early 2016 with this little wave coming in, but overall trending higher. Along with that, I also like to take a look at seasonality for my uh, chart pick. And for that, I go over to equityclock.com. Excellent, excellent site. Can't say enough about it. And as you can see, Philip 66 does have seasonal favor at this time of year. So no guarantee that happens again this year, but always good to know. I also like to take a look at Finbiz to see if I've got analyst support for my new watch list pick. So here we are on the Philip 66 page. And as you can see, uh, for the most part lately, it's been pretty positive. Um, I also going to include a video. I know that Warren Buffett is a, is a big shareholder in Philip 66. He has trimmed his stake in it, but he is still a pretty major shareholder. I'm going to include a little video where he explains why he trimmed his position. So with that, I am putting Philip 66 forward as a chart that I think is worth some review and attention in the next couple of days. And so to quickly recap, I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index. We always look at the Russell first because we want to make sure that the market is in an uptrend before we start to look at charts that we may want to purchase long. So I'm not checking this box. As we noted, the IWM is currently not up and over the eight day EMA on the daily or weekly chart. Having said that, we're getting a positive open. It's at an area of support. It could definitely lift, in which case next week I'll be checking that box. But caution is advised until then. We looked at the five year chart for uh, Philip 66 and we can see that it's trading at an area of support and possible price strength follow through emphasis on possible. We looked at the five-year chart for the sector XLE, um, oil and gas ETF, and it's in a gentle uptrend on the five-year chart. 
Uh, Philips 66 has a great value score. It's got a great growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 24%, a current dividend yield of 2.82%. I'm not checking this box because for me it does not have the trigger yet, the 3 over the 8, but it's very, very close. It does have seasonality in its favor, it does have analyst support, and as we noted in the video, Philips 66 announced a very generous stock buyback program in October of 2017. It's got a current PE of 13.18, and it looks as though their earnings are on October 26th. And so Philips 66 might be a chart to keep an eye on in the days ahead. I certainly will be. Thank you for watching today's video, and as a reminder, they go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Have a great next couple of days, and I'll see you Thursday.